Welcome to Real World AIP. I'm Stacy, and today I want to show you how I make a really simple cold salad using shredded raw unripe green papaya. I started processing this papaya for last week's video to make noodles. Oh, raw green papaya unripe makes great noodles. So then I had a bunch of shredded. I took all the, the scrappy little bits, odds and ends, and I put them in my food processor and shredded them. And I said I was going to put them to good use and today I'm going to put them to good use. All right, so I am going to start with some raw shredded green papaya. I just peeled the green papaya, put the pieces into the shredder, you know, put the pieces into the food processor with the shredder blade. And here's what I came up with. This is going to be, I'm going to eat this raw. It is not sweet. So I'm just going to dump those in a bigger bowl. I also took a yikama and I peeled that and I shredded that with the shredder blade. That's going to add a crunch. It's going to add vitamin C. It's not going to add any color, but <laughs> there we go. Fiber. Then I'm going to add some thin sliced onion. I also put those in the food processor to make them extra super thin slice. I'm not gonna use all of those though. I'll probably just do like, uh, what is that? Maybe a fourth of a cup. And I'm gonna add in like two cloves of minced garlic. If I had mango, I would have used mango in this, but I had a big, big old kiwi, so I cut that up into little pieces and I'm gonna throw that in there. I'm gonna add the juice of one whole lime that I cut into wedges because I find that I get more juice out of them when I cut them into wedges and do it by hand than any other method. I would not use bottled lime juice for this. No way, no how. And for color, I'm gonna throw in some minced radicchio. That's gonna add a nice color and texture. And just because I have this in the fridge and I didn't know what else to do with it, this is just some minced up arugula I used instead of parsley to make a dish look pretty that I made earlier. So I'll just throw this in there just because it's there. Only other thing we need is salt. And cilantro for crying out loud. Can't forget the cilantro. I keep my cilantro frozen. I find it tastes just as good. Obviously the texture wilts, but when you mix it all into something like this, you don't even notice. I'm gonna put a healthy amount like, what is that? I don't know. Probably a half of a cup. Salt it up. Ooh, I have avocado crumbles too. I don't know if you guys remember when I invented the avocado crumble <laughs> when I was making the um, that episode of Minced where I had the soft shell crabs. But I'm, ooh, I'm gonna throw some avocado crumbles in there. And then I'm just gonna mix this all up. This would be fabulous with a whole bunch of olive oil or medium chain triglyceride oil or avocado oil or just a bunch more avocado. But I'm just trying to make a very light version since I've been lounging around a little too much lately. So I'm just gonna skip those extra calories, but this would actually be fantastic with the addition of some oil. Feel free to put some in there. I'd say two tablespoons even up to like a quarter cup. It's gonna be fantastic. I hope you guys like this nice, simple little cold salad. I hope everyone's holding up okay during these uncertain, strange, weird times. Um, I, don't, I don't know why we should just sitting at my feet. Look at this, is cute. What you doing down there? You watch your mom film? We're just, you just like to stand next to my feet. I think you're so cute. Ugh. I'm really grateful to have my girls. Um, at least I'm not completely alone in my apartment. I'm really grateful to have this apartment that I fixed up before this whole thing happened. So at least if I'm gonna be trapped somewhere, it's to my liking. I hope you guys are holding up okay. See you guys soon. Until then, stay healthy.